All right, everyone, here we are at my cartooning desk, but I'm just going to take you for a quick walk to show you a little something that I do during my workday. So as you've, as you've probably heard me say through uh, my other videos that I've got on here, I work in a co-working space. Um, you can actually see some of my artwork on the walls here, which I've um, plastered the office with just to show them a bit of the creativity that goes on in the office here. Um, but what I find is if I'm sort of working at my desk for too long, after an hour or an hour and a half, I'll get a bit sort of bogged down and I'll, you know, I'll feel like the creative juices are sort of not flowing as well as they used to be. So one thing I'm doing with this video, I'm sort of trying to get you a little bit into my um, daily routines as a cartoonist. One thing that I do is I just go for a walk around the block every hour and a half. Here's the elevator. All right, here we are. Go for a walk around the block and, I mean, for a start it gives me an excuse to check my hair in the mirror. I think I'm having a pretty good hair day today, don't you reckon? Mm. <laughs> no? <laughs> yeah, well, um, so uh, I do it for a number of reasons, like you might relate to this, like if you've been on one project for a long time and you just feel like you're getting bogged down ground in the details, floor. ground floor, we can... Um, What I like to do is go outside. You can feel the wind in your hair, as you can see right now. Get the senses of the world into your lungs and then come back and you'll look at the project from a different perspective. You'll be able to see the thing that was obvious in the first place. Like if I'm drawing a cartoon, I might think, well, hey, maybe I should just tilt the angle a little bit to make it a bit more different. Uh, I do it for other reasons as well. So for example, um, I've been to an optometrist recently who tells me that I'm sort of on the verge of needing glasses, but the optometrist says that um, one way to avoid that is instead of continuously looking at the same thing for, you know, continuously looking at the same thing in front of me for minutes and minutes on end, um, if you actually just look at something that's six meters into the distance, that'll actually give your eye muscles a break and you can, um, prevent or delay your need to wear glasses. Geez, I didn't realize, didn't realize how windy it was out here today. Another thing too is, uh, as a cartoonist, you might actually uh, relate to this if you're someone who works on a notebook computer all the time. Your head is continuously tilted forward. So I find if I have a big day either working on a, a netbook computer or uh, working as a cartoonist, that's something that strains my neck, but going for a walk around the block just allows me to limber up a little bit. Um, normally I go on a bit of a longer walk around the block than this, but this is just a short little video for the internet. Um, so we're kind of getting back to the office here at the moment. Um, you've heard all the advantages of me going for a walk around the block. Probably the only disadvantage that I can think of is, you know, you do get into a bit of a routine, which can actually make you vulnerable to kidnappers, but uh, that's... Get it! Get it! Quick! Into the van! Into the van! Into the van.